Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I've filled my vacuum chamber up with a very specific material. And what this material is going to do is towards the bottom, when I move my beam of uh, laser down towards the bottom, it's going to bend it so that it points at the bottom instead of just going straight. Okay, here we go, shining my laser through it. Look what happens as it gets near the bottom. Look how it looks like it's attracted to the bottom. So it curves. So cool. example if I drop this ball in here so you can see how the light can come above the ball but then hit below it <laughs> it's pretty cool so what I've created here is called a gradient index material and what that means is that the material that's in here is not one consistent density but it's higher density at the bottom and lower density at the top and so what that means is that as light gets towards the bottom, it's going to bend more. So what's interesting about this is watch what it looks like as we move low. It looks like the bottom of the chamber is bowing up. So you can see the ball just sitting there like normal from above. And then I'm gonna come down and see what it looks like as I, move, as I move lower here. Let's see when we can stop seeing it now. So we can see it still. see it and see it now I'm below the box but I can still see the ball okay so there's the ball now as I move down I'm gonna get below the edge of the box but I can still see the ball <laughs> so I'm a few inches below it and I can still see the ball right there <laughs> pretty cool. In fact, a little bit le better than laser light, you can follow the path of the bottom corner of the box and look how bent it looks. So watch as I get down low, watch the background here, watch how it lenses everything. In fact, it makes it look like there's a slope here. Thank you. 
So you can see the edge going up there, but there's actually not a slope there. It's actually just flat. You can see it's just flat like that. So you can actually create something like this yourself just by using water and sugar. So that's all I did here is fill this up with water and then put a layer of sugar on the bottom. And I let the layer of sugar sit there for about 24 or 48 hours. So the sugar dissolved, but it didn't dissolve evenly throughout the whole container. It just stayed on the bottom because the sugar water is more dense than regular water. So all the sugar that dissolved in the water stayed at the bottom. Basically what that does is create a density gradient where it's densest at the bottom and least dense at the top. not a slope there. It's actually just flat. going up there, but there's actually not a slope there. It's actually just flat. You can see it's just flat like that. <laughs> 